Welcome back, textile learners. Today, we are in a knit dyeing factory. The machine you see on the screen is the winch dyeing machine. With the help of this machine, about one ton of knit fabric is dyed at a time. Today, I will explain the complete dyeing process of a gray cotton knit fabric. After the dyeing process, by finishing with the kind of machine and in which process, we can get a perfectly dyed fabric. So, stay with us. We will tell you everything about cotton knit fabric dyeing techniques through this video. At first, gray fabric is loaded into the machine through the roller and guider. But before diving into dyeing process, there's a crucial step, demineralization. Demineralization removes mineral ions absorbed by cotton from the soil. These minerals, like calcium and magnesium, could interfere with the dyeing process, affecting color consistency and quality. Next up, scouring and bleaching. Scouring eliminates natural impurities, waxes, and oils from the cotton fibers, ensuring a clean canvas for dye absorption. Bleaching further removes the fabric's natural color, setting the stage for vibrant hues. In textile processing, we start by filling a machine with warm water at 40 degrees Celsius. Then, we add detergent, a wrinkle-reducing agent, and a cleaner to the water. Raise the water temperature to 60 degrees Celsius. Next, we add caustic soda to clean the fabric for 7 minutes. After that, we increase the temperature to 70 degrees Celsius and inject hydrogen peroxide to brighten the fabric. The water gets even hotter, reaching 98 degrees Celsius, and the machine runs for an hour. Finally, we cool the water to 78 degrees Celsius and check a sample of the fabric for how well it absorbs and its brightness. If it's good, we drain the water. Next process is biopolishing, also known as enzymatic singeing, is where protruding fibers and slubs on the fabric's surface are weakened and removed using cellulase enzymes and water pressure. This enhances fabric smoothness and reduces pilling. After the pre-treatment process, the machine is filled with hot water at 80 degrees centigrade and a 10-minute wash cycle clears any remaining dye. Then, the water is drained and refilled. Acetic acid is added to neutralize chemicals, followed by a peroxide killer. The effectiveness of the treatment is checked. Finally, the water is drained again and the machine undergoes a final wash. After that, the pH of the fabric should be checked. For dyeing knit fabric, the pH should be maintained between 6 and 6.5. A leveling agent is used before the dyeing step begins in the fabric. This crucial step ensures uniform dye distribution and absorption, guaranteeing consistent coloration across the fabric. With leveling complete, it's time for the main event, dyeing. Reactive dyes are commonly used for cotton dyeing, direct dyes, and vat dyes in some cases. In the dyeing process, precise dosing of salts, colors, and sodas, along with meticulous temperature control, ensures consistent color uptake and shade percentages. First, salt is added for 10 minutes, then the machine runs for 10 minutes. Next, dye is added for 30 minutes, followed by another 20-minute run. We check a sample to make sure the color is even. If it looks good, we raise the temperature to 60 degrees centigrade. Then, we add soda for 15 minutes and run the machine for 15 minutes. The remaining soda is added over 20 minutes, followed by a 20-minute run. We check another sample, and if it's all good, we drain the bath. After dyeing comes after treatment, where any unfixed dyes are removed, color fastness is enhanced, and the fabric is softened for ultimate comfort. Soaping eliminates unfixed dyes, 
fixing agents improve color fastness, and softeners enhance fabric feel. Each step contributes to the quality and durability of the final product. Finally, the fabric is unloaded from the machine. After dyeing, the dyed knitted fabrics can be finished in both open line and tube line finishing process. Tube line finishing process finishes fabrics in tubular form. You can watch this video above to know the complete tube line finishing process. The open line finishing process finishes the fabrics in open width form. Now, we will learn the details about the open line finishing process. Dewatering and slitting. After the dyeing process from the dyeing machine, then the fabrics are ready for dewatering. It is a slitting machine through which dewatering and slitting are done simultaneously. This machine removes the excess water and slits the tube fabric with the knife to open the fabric and ready for the stentering process. Also, deliver the fabric uncreased, tension-free state. After that, this fabric goes through a stenter machine. It serves multiple purposes, including heat setting, drying, and applying various chemical treatments. It fixes any stretching or shrinking issues with the fabric and maintains the GSM of the fabric. You can watch the video above to learn details about the function and working procedure of the stenter machine. Compacting is the last finishing process after relaxation or drying and has thus decisive importance for increase in fabric aerial density and thickness and reduction in the overall fabric length. The compacting process is crucial for minimizing shrinkage, improving texture and hand feel, and making the fabric thicker before cutting and sewing. And there you have it, the intricate journey of dyeing knit fabrics in the textile industry. From dyeing to finishing, every process is vital in creating the vibrant, comfortable fabrics we love.